Okay, Rex, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here this weekend? Okay, what we do is uh, we, uh, what I bring is uh, a lot of the native people. Uh, some of them are uh, traders, but uh, we're leaning more towards the uh, authenticity of the, uh, the festival of the Native American Indians. Uh, we bring a lot of uh, jewelry, artwork, and different paraphernalia like uh, you know, arrows and uh, drums and stuff like that. Uh, my name is Little Big Mountain. I'm of the Comanche Nation uh, from Southern Plains, Oklahoma, Texas. Uh, this encampment that I have here is a small camp that displays lifestyle living on the plains from a primitive lifestyle to uh, uh, going up into the 1800s and into the trade era. Um, what I like to teach throughout the day is the differences between our native people from your southern plains to your northern plains, your southeastern tribes to your northeastern tribes and doing it with uh, um, the living history with uh, visible items, things that you can touch, things that you can hold. In our camp if you're, you know, you can smell it, you, if you're brave enough you can taste it, that's what the living history is. Um, the display that I have behind me is a, a primitive display. Uh, using items that would be made out of bone, out of stone, out of wood, out of antler. Also utilizing every part of the animal uh, for our everyday survival, not wasting anything from the hides for our clothing uh, to the tendons of the animal for our string and for our thread, uh, the hoofs and the horn uh, for making glue, uh, the bones for the tools in the next hunt, the arrowheads, uh, scrapers like the ones I have here, also um, knives. Uh, sewing uh, needles, uh, sewing awls, uh, basically everything can come from that one animal. Cooking pots made out of stomachs, water bottles out of bladder. Uh, we also like to teach the, uh, um, the origin of the, what's known as a teepee today, um, which was actually from the northern plains of the Cree. Uh, we'll talk about the aerodynamics of it, the, uh, how it evolved from going from a bark lodge to using canvas uh, that you see out here today. Uh, we'll also be doing uh, uh, some skills like uh, fire starting with rubbing sticks together, uh, making cordage and string. Um, oh, there's just a lot of things that we can teach inside of our encampment, uh, but mainly to uh, let folks realize that all of our people from nation to nation are different from each other. Um, to say hello in my language would be Marawe, which is hello in the Comanche language. Uh, what we call ourselves was Namana. Uh, the word Comanche was a name given to us by the Ute Indians who are our enemy. And that's literally what it would mean as the enemy. But Namana is what we call ourselves. So it's little things like that that we like to teach the folks about our people and uh, bring a, a better understanding of our lifestyles and, and uh, in the way that we lived back then as opposed to the way that we live today. Now to get a hold of our uh, programs, because we do go all over the country uh, with our traveling museum, the only encampment of its kind that, that travels uh, across the country doing programs, it's a lot easier than before. Uh, long ago it was smoke signals, but now it's uh, on the internet. You can go on to gonativenow.com for all your Native American educational needs.